Big hello to my precious viewers. Welcome to my channel Nehkagrata Align and Attract. I hope you all are progressing in your life and I also hope that I am able to contribute in your life through my videos, sessions and workshops. Well today my topic of discussion is something that we really crave for, that we want and that fulfills our entire needs and luxuries. Let's begin. People don't just earn money because they want to earn money but they share a certain relationship with money. A lot of times we are not able to achieve or attract that we really want. The amount of money that we really want is because of the beliefs that we have put in our subconscious mind in the past, in the present and about the future. I would like to ask you a question. What is the relationship that you share with money, the wealth? What are your beliefs about money? Do you believe uh, if you get successful people will start to hate you or do you believe if you will have a lot of money people will get jealous of you or you believe that you just can't save money what are your beliefs about money and also you know one of uh, one of them that I heard was uh, spiritual people are usually poor Oh come on, uh, we are in a new era altogether, we are in a new world altogether and still we are keeping all these beliefs and it's not just about the present beliefs, I'm talking about the beliefs that you have heard from your parents, from your friends in the past and it is all coming from the experiences, it is all coming from what we have seen in the past, what we have seen in the surroundings, in our society and from there on we have not been able to become rich. Do you see we have a lot in the world but then there are people who have unlimited money and then there are people who are always in the survival mode and you know I have heard uh, from many many people saying that uh, I was uh, not born in the right city or my situation was not right or my circumstances were not right but God has been really kind he has given you one thing in common and equal and that is 24 hours and how you make use of that 24 hours effectively and efficiently that that's what matters the most uh, you talk about Ambani or uh, uh, Amitabh Bachchan They've all put in their extra to get their extra. And here we are here at uh, Way Mall, uh, Noida Sector 18, uh, at Arts and Jewels. And I'm with the owner of this place, uh, Miss Manisha Vadera. And uh, I just wanted to speak to her and wanted to know how she's been running this uh, entire place. And when I asked her as to what her belief is about money, I was absolutely surprised uh, ma'am what do you have to say about your belief about money my belief about money is uh, it can be easily earned what you have to bring out from within yourself is your passion passion to make money if that's your passion you will be able to do it and uh, money is can be earned uh, the same way everything in life works uh, according to the law of attraction so be it love, li uh, life, money, health, good fortune, name a thing you can generate it from all within your life within yourselves wow that's so amazing I'm, I'm getting these vibes that I will be able to attract more and more money after meeting her because she's <laughs> such a positive lady she is talking about attraction people don't earn just from their capabilities but they're earning from the way they are conditioned and their beliefs see money is not static it is revolving as I said it is all over and if I give a 500 rupees note to a shopkeeper and he further gives on to a customer and so on it will come back to you one day that is for sure because money is revolving and when you start to understand the movement when you start to understand the whole game of money you will never be broke or in debt people who are really rich today who are very wealthy they know these strategies they know how to play this game very well and let me tell you there are people when they get this unexpected money what they do with that is they will simply go to the mall or they'll simply go in the market and buy a new phone for themselves they'll buy uh, maybe a new car for themselves a macbook because they can't handle money what is your belief about money once again think about it what is the value that you give to money and that is what is coming back to you and if you're not able to attract money, it simply means that there is a miscommunication between subconscious and the conscious mind. And if you're putting your 100% in your work, but you don't have respect for money, then let me tell you, 
you will not be able to earn the amount that you really want to and even if it will come to you it will be very very short lived so here let me give you a few tips how you can earn maintain and multiply money number one thing if you're earning even a little for example start to make an account of the incoming and the outgoing money say every day maybe in the morning or at night or every six hours if you think that there is a lot of incoming and outgoing start to make a note of that i still make a note i still make a note of all the money that i'm giving to somebody even if i am say uh, going on a rickshaw and paying 20 rupees i will write down in my diary that's something that i have followed from a very long time with this you would understand where you're wasting your money and where you're missing out the opportunities to earn more money number two whenever you go out shopping ask yourself is this my need or is this coming out of my emotion meaning whenever you go buy something do you really need it or you're buying it because you like it or probably you feel good in it ask this question a lot of people do emotional shopping hence they're not able to save much money and the last and the most important thing the num number three is the visualization no matter how much you're earning no matter how much belief you have to earn money are you able to visualize yourself as a very rich very wealthy person we very well know that most of us are earning to pay off the debts to pay off the loans i want to ask you a question and think about it and then write to me at info at nekagrata.com why do you want to earn money why do you want to earn money what is the intention behind earning money write to me and then let's see you never know you just might be rich and wealthy